the Atlas Post, Small Business Administration offers coronavirus relief options, and today we're going to focus on the EIDL, or Economic Injury Disaster Loan. It's different from the Paycheck Protection Program, typically referred to as the PPP, financing that's offered to small businesses, which focuses on retaining employees. The EIDL, or Economic Injury Disaster Loan, is slightly different than the PPP. It provides up to, well, actually, there's two different areas. One is the EIDL loan advance, and the other is the EIDL. You don't have to do both. The loan advance will provide up to $10,000 of economic relief to businesses that are currently experiencing temporary difficulties. And the loan advance is an advance. The EIDL loan is different. It's a working capital loan, different from other SBA loans because the funds come directly from the USA Treasury and you can apply directly to it through disasterloan.sba.gov or go to sba.gov website. There's no cost to apply and there's no obligation to take the loan if offered. The maximum unsecured loan amount is $25,000. Now that's an important part to remember. The maximum unsecured loan amount is $25,000 because after that, well, it's a loan. They want collateral. So applicants can have an existing SBA disaster loan and still qualify for an AEIDL for this disaster, which is the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, and um, but the loans cannot be consolidated. So what businesses are eligible to apply? Small businesses, small agriculture co-ops, small aquaculture businesses, and most private nonprofit organizations. So this includes businesses that are directly affected by the disaster or businesses that offer services directly related to the businesses in the declaration and other businesses indirectly related to the industry that is likely to be harmed by losses in their community. Basically with the pandemic, it affected about every single business out there. So that one is pretty easy. But the SBA does have criteria for loan approval, such as your credit history needs to be acceptable to SBA, repayment, ability to repay the SBA loan, now, Fed Chairman Powell has often said, and all the times I've heard him speak, that it is a loan and that the Fed has lending powers. It is a loan. It's not a grant. It's a loan. Although, there is the EIDL advance. So, for eligibility, they do take a look where you are located, that you're within the declared disaster area, such as the United States. You're suffered or likely to suffer substantial economic injury as a result of the disaster. You're independently owned and operated. You don't have credit available elsewhere. The size of the applicant alone without affiliates must not exceed the size standard for the industry in which the applicant is primarily engaged. And the size of the applicant combined with its affiliates must not exceed the size standard and the size standard which the SBA describes for the program is for any small business with less than 500 employees, including self proprietorships, independent contractors, and self employed persons, private nonprofit organizations, or 501c19 veterans organizations affected by COVID 19. So, if you're going to borrow a loan, what are the terms? So, you can borrow up to $2 million, and the interest rates for small businesses are 3.75%. Most private nonprofits are 2.75%. The terms are up to 30 years. And eligibility is based on size, the type of business, and financial resources. And eligibility also requires that your business must have been in operation before January 31st, 2020. So the EIDL loan funds can be used for fixed debts, payroll accounts payable, and some bills. It could have been paid had the disaster not occurred. Now, if you're primarily focused on payroll, you should apply for the PPP loan, not the EIDL loan. And for the PPP, of course, there are requirements for that as to the percentage that is forgivable based on the number of employees and headcounts, etc. The EIDL has much more flexibility as far as what you can use it for. So for the EIDL, loan. There are some criteria that are involved, which, such as you must have a physical presence, and that's tangible and si significant. So that means it cannot be a post office box, right? That doesn't qualify. And when they're talking about collateral, 
they do have some requirements such as this is for items or loans over $25,000. So they take real estate as collateral when it's available and they will not decline a loan for lack of collateral, but requires borrowers to pledge what is available. Actually, that part's important. Also, as far as the loan, when you have to pay it back, please note that I have heard that you may not have to start paying it back for one year, but if you can, you should start paying it back immediately because the loan starts occurring as soon as you receive it or as soon as you receive the funds. Um, although, read the paperwork. Things are always subject to change. I'm not an accountant and, and I'm not an attorney, but just know that things are subject to change because just like the PPP, which came out with an update, EIDL, who knows, it could have an update, they could change the terms, etc. So always be aware of what your terms are. So some of the basic filing requirements are SBA loan application, SBA Form 5 or 5C, tax information authorization, complete copies of the most recent federal income tax return, schedule of liabilities, SBA Form 2202 in a personal financial form, SBA or personal financial statement, SBA Form 413. And you can file via paper, but the forms are acceptable. Um, well, actually, you can file via paper, but they prefer that you file online because, well, let's just say, they're understaffed already. And when you do it electronically, not only is it done faster, it's often easier to read. Well, thank you in advance for joining us today and how, also helping to support the Atlas Post on Patreon. We bring you news relating to finance and stimulus bills, CARES Act, assistance programs, step by step, how to and more information about to get to and hear their news. If you've been listening, I hope this is help, helping either you or somebody else that you are sharing it with. And please leave your comments as we do review them, and it helps us to determine which questions to answer as do our comments on Patreon. If this has been helpful, share it with a friend, and we would appreciate a thumbs up. Check out our playlist and subscribe for the latest updates. Tap into your news with the Atlas Post. Have a joyful day.